Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nations Cup 17 in Upto. Now, yeah, this is a, this is a bit late. The this was actually played back in January and February, so these are going to be mere replays that I'm going to shortcast because, well, I have taken upon the task to actually try and be good at it. Well, probably I won't, but well, it it will be fun journey for me anyway. So just to start off, we I probably have to clear out the fact that I have to pre-render everything I do in the uh, game because for some reason I cannot record my webcam together with the audio and also watch the demo directly in Urban Terror. So I have to pre-render it and edit it all together already and render that out and then watch the video file instead. Well, technical stuff doesn't matter. The point is that I may be spoiled and I have to work a little bit on in some ways to make sure that I am not going to be spoiled also and I have to do this. But hopefully I will still be good at it and I will try to act as if this was not only me not being spoiled, but also as if this was live and back in, what, January and February. S because it will not only be better for you as a viewer, I think, but also much more valuable a lesson for me. And I can take much more from that than if I made some kind of analysis show. Even though that would probably also not be that bad, but this is not the point here. Uh, sorry. So I'm sipping a little bit of water because I think we will need that. Because we have a really good game coming up. We have France versus Italy. Now France is probably the favorite of anyone here because, well, not only is it pretty much the center of urban terror, the urban terror community, I'd say, but all, and probably they also have the best players in the world, maybe, or at least the mo biggest amount of good players. That's probably a better way to put it. But they... So because of that, they are pretty much probably the favorite to win this whole tournament. And, well, that that is also reflected in the past performance France has had, not only in uh, the other tournaments. Like France has won a lot of Nations Cups early, I think. But also France has pretty much been godlike throughout this whole tournament itself. France has not lost a single map in this in the group stage with where they were against Portugal, Brazil, United Kingdom and Virtus? Oh. <laughs> well I need to get my geography up. But well and also they were against Canada. That's not the worst countries to be against. I mean, yeah okay, probably some of them were easy wins, but at least Canada has some good players too, and I'm pretty sure UK also has. So they weren't in a group of death, but they certainly weren't in an easy group either. And, but they still, they had five wins and zero losses, and that's actually with no map lost, as I can see from the statistics. That's pretty godlike, I'd say. And if you look at Italy, on the other hand, it's 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 still good. It's not bad, really. It's three wins throughout their group being D. And then they had a draw against Belgium, and they lost to uh, Scandinavia. But that's 3-1-1 one, one is still not a bad statistics. But because of that, you could probably say that it's maybe a little bit one-sided. And, but then again, Italy isn't bad either, so we, this can go pretty much either way, but right now, it, France is probably the favorite. So, well, this time we are going to have a best of three, as always in Urban Tower, it's best of three. So, the first map is going to be Beijing with capture the flag being the map that France has chosen itself. After that we will have Casa with Team Survivor, that is the map of Italy. So 
The question really is if Italy maybe only be a team survivor team. I have not really looked too much into that, but it could be. There's, there are a lot of teams that are only team survivor and are really bad at capture the flag, even though that is actually the ta- the game type that I like the most, just because it has so much sp- more speed in it than Team Survivor. Team Survivor can, and a lot of times, just end up being a camp fest. Even though you have this wonderful movement system, but the potential of the movement system, I think, is really only utilized in Capture the Flag. So, I'm really happy, actually, that we are going to see the Capture the Flag as the first game that I'm shoutcasting. Also, it's going to be much harder because much more things will happen, but... That's it's still going to be a great game, I hope. On Beijing, that's actually a maybe a problem. That's actually a map that has been made after I went on a break, as you could say it. Um, well, I haven't really played this game for I think two years, so I cannot really say that much about this. Except that if we look at this, just let's just look at the map and see if we can. Analyze something. I've also been running around on that map for about half an hour and seeing if I can say something and There's it's not that hard actually. Well, I mean if you if you think about turnpike, right? You have pretty much two lanes You could say you have the attackers lane being down the pillars from the blue side. No the red side, sorry and then you have to have at the red flag (laughs) obviously the defenders who also go through the train station so you have pretty much two lanes there, and then you have one guy in the middle trying to keep map control so that the attackers actually can move in, and that the defenders actually have the uh, upper hand. So pretty much you have these two defenders and two attackers, and then you, this guy in the middle who is actually the most important one, as he will be the one that makes you have board control. Uh, not board control. <laughs> no, we're not playing Hearthstone. We are having um, so map control, thank you. But, well, if we look at Beijing then, on the other hand, we can pretty much see the same thing, because the defenders are going to go down on the lane that has, that is the closest to the flag itself. For the blue side, that will be the upper part. Also, this, the, uh, s- um, the spawn points is uh, then also very close to that, so that should be easy enough to defend and get to the flag again after you have spawned. <coughs> uh, then we uh, then the other lane is probably going to be the attackers, mainly also because you then are able to uh, get into the flag area very fast and get back into your safe own part of the map too. So then again. This is, we will probably see something like a 2 one two, just like we always see on Turnpike in Capture the Flag. Where in the middle, the middle is more weird and more... Well, the Turnpike middle, right? That's quite simplistic. It's pretty much just a T with a few corners here and there. But the middle here in Beijing, man, there's so many corners you have to be taken care of. It's It's quite difficult, and I think... We're not go- probably not going to see any flag ones going through the middle because there are so many corners. You cannot really build up any speed through there. But still, this through the middle you can get pretty much anywhere and you can pretty much get in there safe too because of all these corners. But it will also in some ways make it harder to keep control of it because you can just get flanked so easily. So even though we will... Yeah, I think we will probably see lot of stuff happening in the middle of the map, but I'm not sure if it's going to be as important, mainly because you have such... It's it's pretty sh- easy for the defenders, especially on the blue side, to keep the middle pretty much uh, impossible to move in from the defender's point of view. So I think the middle, even though it will be very important for the map control and so that you can actually have your attackers move in, I'm pretty. I still think we're not probably not going to see any flags running through there, and I don't think we will either see um, a a massive, massive uh, control in the middle. Even though when you first have the middle, it's probably quite hard not to lose lose it because 
or quite hard to lose it because you have all these uh, corners you can keep your safe with. But then again, you also have it's easier to flank you, so it's quite hard to tell. And yeah, I think I think that's the map. But also um, in capture the flag, we are going to see two rounds in ten minutes each, being the twenty minutes that we always all used to. Um, you know, uh, when you put it together, of course. So then we will switch side to the middle because. Not a, maps cannot if they're asymmetrical they cannot be in any way fair and it's also the case in here. Someone said the blue side is easier mainly because the def from the defender's point of view it's there is much less to worry about. But also on top of that there seems to be way easier for you to get cover, especially that fountain just beside the flag. You can pretty much cover yourself from any point uh, that you should be attacked from behind that fountain. So we should probably see a blue side being a little bit stronger in both games. So it's hope that we can pretty. So if these two teams, Italy and France, are actually even in this capture of the flag. <coughs> They should probably have something like one winning each, uh, each of them winning each round, but probably not. France being one of the only t countries I think that actually plays ca uh, capture the flag uh, in this Nations Cup is so we're probably going to see Italy having a little bit of trouble, but it doesn't mean that they will not put up a fight. So, <laughs> yes. I hope this rambling about the map, even though I haven't really played it and I cannot say it or tell so from a lot of hours of experience, I that's my thoughts of this map. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's just see if the captain's already, shall we? While we wait for them to respond, let's see Italy are starting on the blue side so they should at least through the first round have an easier game mainly because of that fountain and also a few other places where it's easy enough to get this uh, cover and keep your flag safe but yeah so hopefully we're going to find a, see a great game and the captains are both doing slash ready and the game starts in six seconds Good luck to either team. And danger moving down the attack lane as I expected. And sitting at the car, waiting around. And in the hotel he's moving in. Getting killed by danger. But then the clad got, got the flag from... Yeah, both the flags are actually taken. So... Hemp takes the flag instead, and Clad just keeps him safe while moving in, but get killed by Over from Italy. Zombie from France moving through the hotel, and Hemp is just camping at the flag area, waiting for the other flag to get returned. It's a little bit of flag dancing from uh, Italy, but... Is the flag going to be returned? F 19 seconds or they will have to drop the flag and start anew. Totti just being right at the spawn point just so that it, he's very sure that he cannot be in any way killed or the flag will still not be safe even if he should be. And the flag are returned and Totti is already in the hotel ready to get the flag again. And he takes the flag, kills zombie, but gets killed uh, anyway by Clad. Hemp, though, keeping holds a safe, who has the flag and moves all the way back to, and gets the flag capture. France already at 8 10, getting the first flag capture. 
over applying a bit of pressure on the south side of the map and killing him just as he wants to get the flag but gets killed also danger trying to apply pressure into the hotel but just has to stay behind the car but they're moving in together with Totti danger though it has a very low HP so he has no stamina to work with but still he sh can kill Wayne from behind and he does so well done but still Totti gets killed by Holters and the flag is returned danger though takes the flag again <laughs> And in the hotel, he kills Danger. No, no, holds us. <laughs> but Danger also gets killed by Hemp. And big massacre is going. The what? The blue flag seems to be safe, as Claire cannot move in. And now he's even also dead by killed by Briss. Zombie is moving in. And still alive, but dead also. Just too many out the flag area. Though Hemp just killed over, but gets killed by Briss, who comes right in from the middle. It's just keeping it defensive in the middle. And gets killed by his own mate. Oh god. Oh, and France is moving in, but Hemp and Zombie are killed by over. What amazing. Aim, but on the whoa on the rooftop. <laughs> what? How did he get up there? <laughs> but zombie, no matter what, how he ever he got up there, he got the flag and is moving fast back. And but he's staying in the middle, trying to get back. He's already down at the lower lane and. Get the flag capture! It's 2-1 to one to France. Holt is keeping the lower side safe. Just killing the ingoing attack. Nearly killing Wayne, but just too late for the wave to, go, to kick in. So he kept him alive. Italy tries to get in. Holt is killing both with the help of Hemp. No, wait, no. So, as it seems to France, for the French flag is pretty much safe already by three of them staying around there. And Italy, pretty much the same. And they are moving and getting the flag. Fi trying to find a way out, but every time the flag just gets returned. And France tries to move in on Italy, but they just cannot find the way. But France, actually all of them together are moving in. All three that are still alive. Moving in and keeping the flag safe while they move back. And Italy pretty much have to stay back at the spawn because it just can't move out. But French killing. Both over and Hemp? No. Hemp actually Hemp has killed what three now at the flag and gets the flag again and moves back. What a pr whoa! <laughs> Eight seconds capture and Clad has a flag. Oh God! Italy is just going completely out of touch with. the with the ability to defend. 10 seconds capture. And France is now 5 to 1 to Italy. And they're again moving in on the south side, killing everything. Team kill, of course, because we, have, we need that extra 2 anti HP. But Italy cannot keep that south side safe. And the middle even also applies pressure. And now also people are getting in from the south. Hemp kills over the only one at the flag. And Danger being in the middle, really not being able to help anyone. And Hemp has a flag. And Danger actually 
hitting him in the leg, and the flag is actually safe. But through the middle, hemp has come again. <laughs> and well, if you cannot kill him with your gun, you just gotta boot him. Holt is trying to keep safe, but it's two against one, so danger gets him. And they're still moving in, but Wayne gets already danger down. And gets the cast, as it seems, stabilized between the two. A grenade completely into the door frame, but well, that doesn't matter. Getting it over, actually, with Nate, together with Clad. And the flag is taken by Zombie, who has no stamina, but was trying to be kept safe by him, but they were both killed, but doesn't matter, they were slowed down so much that Zombie could anyway get the flag capture in about 10 seconds. And it's 6 to 1, 2 minutes remaining, well it's 10 seconds for each flag capture, so it is potentially still possible for Italy to get back if they get pretty much one flag capture after each other, but with each ticking second, it's going to be more unlikely for Italy to actually be able to do it. And Zombie just already killing two of them. But actually, the Italian Italians had the flag for two seconds, nearly denying that flag capture. But the flag was again returned with Zombie again for 10 seconds, merely getting the flag capture. 7 to 1, and only one and a half minutes. Left. Totti moving in. Being at a good position to get the flag, but he just there's no backup for him to actually do it, so he has to stay back and be sure that he actually has the opportunity. Fighting. Hitting him, actually, as it seems, in the face. And killing Wayne. Clad, though, takes the flag. And they just, they just cannot get in to that because one other guy, it's that Totti has delivering a perfect performance. But he just didn't have the backup to actually get in and get the flag. So it's now 8 to 1 as Clad has taken another flag capture. And over moving in to for the defense. But again from the s south lane, they are get already getting assaulted. And Hemp actually bleeding to death from the wounds from over. <laughs> and as it's just as it seemed the flag was safe, just right from behind, Holtus takes the flag. Desert Eagle backed into only French's backside. And two seconds left. Can they get the extra flag capture? Yes, they could. 9 to 1 on this first round. Whoa, France are really showing a massive lead and just stomping Italy, if I may have one can say so, in this first round. And even it, Italy was on the, as already said, easier side, but still, they couldn't just get the defense up and going. And after the third flag capture, it was pretty much just one flag after the other. It actually started out pretty well. The first three flag captures, both teams, were the first five games or such. Or so. so, even though that it was really France being the one having the upper hand throughout the rest of the game, it actually started out as if Italy actually could get a comeback, but uh, they just went on tilt as it seemed, right after 4 or 5 minutes. Yeah, well... Well, what can you do? <laughs> France is just too good, and it is, as said, their own map, and France just has been, as already said earlier, showing that they really are up to the challenge, and try to win this game and this whole tournament and as it seems right now they actually could without any problem get all the way to the finals and win but Italy still can do it and we are back into the game 10 seconds until the next half starts maybe even though Italy is now on the more difficult side of the game 
they may actually win and while we are not going to follow anyone we can just watch this beautiful entrance into the middle while people shoot at each other <laughs> so France already taking the first flag and just are they getting actually back into the game they are on the they are on the top lane moving in nearly getting that to the flag and there's a flag captured 16 seconds we are only still having nine and a half minutes left and they already got the first flag capture Italy seems in this game to really just being on tilt and finally our camera man has come back from wherever he were he was probably abducted to Mars or something but the Martians were finished with him and he come, came back and actually wanted to finish his job. But France already getting the second flag. 11 seconds and they it's now 2-1 to one in the second time. That means we are actually having 11-1 to one if you count in the first half too. France moving in from the middle. And taking the... F Italy has, actually has the flag but so has French nearly except that the flag has been returned but France take it Tigerino slides through once into the middle because there's the safe one they got the map control because they got the middle and they had in the meantime getting the flag but but Totti just barely kills Tigerino just as he wanted to take the flag culture Zombie takes the red flag though and actually delivers it the last two meters 3 0 to France and 8 minutes left. France moving in on the car. On the car? Yeah, yeah they are moving in on the car. But on the uh, north lane, on the other side of the map, the Tigerino is moving in with backup actually too. And now two on the flag, but they still haven't been able actually to get the flag itself. <coughs> But France running into the middle, being sure that they actually have control of the middle. As they don't seem to, as Kegohan has to actually get out of the middle and begin being sure that this flag is actually safe. And the flag is safe. Still, Italy has not been able to move in to in any way into the flag. And France now has the flag once through the middle because, well, they got the middle. And through the hotel, back to the car, and here they are, he's greeted by both Kegohan, who kills just danger, and Temp even has the energy to kill Kegohan just for the getting the extra HP, and Hemp goes in through the middle and actually stops the counter-attack by Italy, and joins the defense, kills Totti too, what a beautiful aim they have. Get going into the spawn area though and just get some decimated. I'm not completely sure if that was the best turn. But probably just see if I could take the flag actually. And Italy trying to move in I think. No, that's actually just trying to go and see if they can get the flag safe. But also moving in from the south side. But they really need to try to get to the middle and also in some way be sure that they have control of the upper lane in some way. But they just aren't able to. So France has the flag, though Italy has also been counter-attacking and taking the flag for themselves too. Hemp getting back onto the balcony and back to the area and the flag is returned. And Italy takes the flag and gets the flag capture for one. Five minutes left and I hit the mic. <laughs> and they can potentially still get this round back just for the honor with it. They can probably not also go for the other uh, round too, but well, winning this round will still be something. Over getting in, trying to be sure that they actually can get the hotels safe so the defense will hold up for later. But France already has the flag. But hopefully Over could take the car and that way actually get the flag safe, but he can't. And France again moves in, Hemp takes the flag. And goes... I don't know where. I cannot say. I'm on Italy's side. 
but over taking trying to move in again on the car and killing himself while France actually takes the flag again over t getting all the way back up to 100% HP and the flag is not taken yet and he's taking the balcony so that he's sure that he can actually have full over you over the whole flag area danger staying and in defensively in the middle killing Holters and Kegohan defends the flag on the northern side actually that's interesting kill zombie just for extra HP and moves into the middle as he has hurt someone there as it seems and Taigoino takes the flag once back through the hotel and to the car and takes the place where they actually have fought control and is greeted by two other trenches who are keeping his back safe and there's 12 seconds done Taigoino takes the flag and the counter attack is just taken zombie and he and the suicide for the extra HP and Italy try still trying to just get in control over the hotel but they just seem not to be able to and really the hotel it seems to be the place where France keeps on moving in and just keeps getting the flag actually from that way even though that was not the place where I would have predicted that to happen and Italy with their counter attacks just cannot keep enough pressure up and going that they cannot take one flag capture after the other three minutes and 12 seconds left eight to one Italy takes the flag but just gets killed immediately after which Owen nearly kills Kegwin but just his aim is impossible to able to kill and Hem takes the flag <coughs> moves back through the middle but has to slow down as he has to be sure that he actually have the control of it but mo Italy just cannot do it as Hemp takes the flag and delivers it Hemp stays back at the flag to keep the defense because Italy seems actually to have been to apply enough pressure that you they actually have to begin stabilize and begin getting a foot again into the defense because they have been extremely aggressive actually because Italy has been allowing them to be so because if you if Italy's defense really wasn't good enough that they just could say keep one person on defense then you they pretty much just why not do that they I mean it's already now nearly 10 to 1 Touch nearly taking the flag, but Keikohan just denies that one flag capture for the honor of it. And there again, Danger going in, and Briz actually denying the extra 10th flag capture, but Holters as the third one actually gets it in. But he, the, again, the problem has been that Italy has been so... had so many problems in the hotel area that they've just not been able to keep the pressure from France away but this may actually be it can this be the one redeeming flag capture for Italy just for the honor of it yes 12 seconds to 10 to 2 probably still not the winning flag capture but <laughs> last oh yes make a video I will do so of course I will surely that's the next um, one clip epic fan of but Italy with moving into the middle taking the spot of only French and moving in but sadly gets killed from behind by him who had was already on the northern side and killed him in the back him takes the flag just immediately afterwards and runs back through the middle but sadly has no stamina moves through the car area where one Italian actually could deny it, but one headshot and the path is clear and Hemp just slides all the way back Even though they have actually, Italy have actually applied so much pressure that they actually are on top of the flag But flag has been returned, Italy takes the flag and run back through the southern side of the map 
but sadly they don't have any stamina. Three seconds left. Can this be the third? Yes, it is. 10 to 3. S France still won, but Italy, are, even though they have been pretty much had not and not put, at no point been having the upper hand of this which was really due to the lack of uh, control over the hotel area i'd say they had this one with deeming flag capture at the end where it still was only what 19 to 4 in the end so this is obviously a very Obvious who really has had the upper hand throughout this whole game that has been France non-stop They had the upper hand slipped here and there and Italy actually were able to break the uh, The offensive of France and actually get a defense up and going and also be aggressive themselves But the fact and the lack of especially in the second game that they couldn't get control over the hotel area which really seem to be the one important thing here they just because of that they couldn't keep their flag safe and france just kept on going with one flag capture after the other with one of them being 31 seconds mainly due to the fact that Fra uh, that italy with a counter attack nearly got the uh, got on top of france's flag and actually were able to get it back and take a flag capture but just Barely weren't able to. But what what a what a wonderful game! Even though the France has been having the upper hand throughout this whole game, what a wonderful wonderful game. So, while the next, I will not talk a lot about this, but the next uh, map will be Italy's map. And Italy are, as it seems, not really the capture the flag team. But who says they're not the team survival ones? And probably we will see a lot, a lot much, much more interesting game. And with a lot of more drama in it as Italy can have the upper hand and actually are playing in a game type and on a map that they are much better in. Well... That's going to be soon. So stick with us and thanks for watching. We'll be back soon. So yeah.